Darth Andedu was a humanoid dark lord of the Sith, who was also known as the immortal god King of Prakath. Star Wars scholars suggest he was probably the first Sith Lord using the title Darth while others disagree, saying Darth derives of ancient Rakatan language. They both agree Darth Andedu was a paranoid and deranged man, always afraid of his knowledge and power being stolen by his followers, and that he would be overthrown. Such paranoia even made him flee Korriban to settle in the Deep Core. Andedu settled the world of Prakath and ruled over it as a god, until his time was up and death creeped in. Afraid his pursuers would steal his knowledge and power, he entombed himself with his holocron, which contained the information required to cheat death, transferring the user's essence to another physical vessel. Andedu, knowing how to cheat death, had plenty of admirers and followers, and in time there was a cult formed called Malevolence, who built a temple in his honor, awaiting for the return of God King Darth Andedu. An immortal godlike Sith Lord was prone to be spoken of, and so Darth Andedu remained a conversation topic long after his death, and the Jedi Order felt they needed to cleanse his name from history. They tried, but failed, and his holocron detailing his secrets was always searched for. The first person to discover it was Freedon Nad, a Jedi who wanted to become the strongest Sith Lord alive, and was able to decipher the item's knowledge, while the second was Darth Bane, who was unable to tap into the holocron's lore due to being considered unworthy. After some time, the holocron was found by Darth Tyrannus aka Count Dooku and Darth Krayt of the One Sith Order. Darth Andedu's red lightsaber crystal was also found by Count Dooku and gifted by him to Quinlan Bose. Darth Krayt, who discovered the holocron last, was very ill from a Yuuz Hin Vong slave seat infestation and had his time ticking, so he allowed his follower Darth Weirlock III to scour the holocron to find a way to cure him. Weirlock eventually had enough information to go to Andedu's tomb, and he dueling him right there, killing him for good. However, there was nothing among Andedu's possessions that could help Darth Krayt with his health problems due to the seed infestation, and so Darth Weirlock III had to search elsewhere, but that is another story. Darth Andedu's holocron, having been discovered by Darth Bane, the patriarch of the lineage of Plagueis and Sidious, no doubt had a huge influence in allowing the wise Plagueis to cheat death himself, though there are some other factors included here like Darth Venomous's role and more. I'll make sure to create a whole video on it one of these days. Did you like the video? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and comment below with any questions you may have on the Immortal God King Sith Lord or anything else. We reply as soon as possible. Thank you and may the force be with you.